Hello and welcome to the last in the series this month. I hope you've been really enjoying it and that the familiarity has given you some peace of mind as you come into your yogas. So find yourself in a nice comfortable position here. And when you come into a more centered position, just closing your eyes down or take a low gaze. We'll take a nice big inhale through the nose to lift and open. And as you exhale, feeling everything soften down, exhaling out through the mouth. Big inhale, invite more energy in. And exhale, relax. This time let's allow the arms to join in with our inhale. And as we exhale, we'll soften everything on down. Meeting in all fours, just taking your time. Find your best way there. Having your shoulders over your wrists, hips over the knees, just bumping the hips from side to side. Tucking your toes at the back, big inhale to lift the hips high. And coming on down into a nice Balancing, waiting and unwaiting, movable down dog. Coming into a more centered, balanced place here. Big inhale, lift the hips and heels high. And with your exhale, we'll soften the knees, soften the heels, pushing a little bit closer towards your legs here for a nice stretch. And then we'll soften on out of that. Start to unweight from one side to the other, finding yourself crawling up to the top of your space here. Or just find yourself at the top of your space in the best way that suits you. Soften the hips down, big inhale, lift arms high. As we exhale, we'll lean on down to that left side, allowing the right foot to come back. Opening up at the hips here, we'll soften that back knee. Big inhale to twist left. Exhaling through centre, inhale to open up right. And with our exhale, we'll come back to centre and then just shift side by side all the way back into that runner's lunge. Keeping that front knee nice and soft. And having your hips, whatever works for you, that might be high. That might be low, just don't push through any closed doors. And remember you can keep this dynamic, you can rock from side to side, forward and back. And then coming back up again to frame that front foot here, onto the tiptoes at the back if you're not there already, and heel that knee at the back up. And then just shift that foot at the back, whatever it needs to be that's going to allow you to shift your balance through your centre for a big inhale. And exhale, coming down to that right side, freeing up that left side, back into your down dog. Now, if you found that tricky, utilise your space, get there however works for you. And remember, today is only the beginning. We will continue on and every day we'll get a little bit better. Start to crawl up to the top of your space again, using what you need not using what you don't have to. Coming back into that forward fold, bring your hips low, big inhale high. With this exhale, we'll lean down right, freeing up that left leg to come behind us onto the toes there, opening up in your hips. Soften that back knee down, big inhale to twist right. Exhaling through centre, big inhale to open left. And with this exhale, we'll come back through centre and find ourselves shifting and drifting back into that runner's lunge. Keeping that front knee nice and soft. Allow your hips to be high or low. If you feel the stretch, you're doing it correctly. You can shift and drift side to side if that's nice for you. And then we'll find ourselves coming back up to frame that front foot here and heel that back knee high. Allow that back foot to come forward a little bit, finding a nice 
good foundation for you with those feet to allow you to come through centre. Big inhale, high. And as we exhale, we'll lean left, freeing up that right side to come back into our down dog here, paddling away nice and movable. Tuck your chin, rolling out into a plank, walking forward and back here. Drop the knees, sink the hips. And then pushing back with your hands, lifting the hips up and back into your child's pose. Finding yourself back in all fours, tucking your toes here, inhale hips high. And we'll start to unweight and move ourselves back up to the top of our space. Keeping your hips low, big inhale high. Exhale, leaning left, bringing that right foot back. Finding a good foundation, you can rock about a bit here to find that foundation. Or find a, a wall or some furniture just to lean on to allow yourself to come through the centre. Big inhale, high. And this time we'll exhale out and do a twist here to your left sides. Big inhale to open high. And exhale to twist on open again. Big inhale, high. Exhale to twist on open. Big inhale, high, and sinking, grounding that back foot down into your warrior two. Big inhale to open up here. Exhale to soften on down. Big inhale opens as high. Exhale to soften. One more big inhale, high. This time we'll soften on down, we'll bring that back foot forward, leaning right, freeing up that left side, back into our down dog here. Taking time just to unweight, and then we'll start to crawl back up to the top of our space here. Finding yourself, just folding over your legs, sink the hips low, big inhale, arms come high. Exhale, this time we lean right, allowing that left foot to come back. And just move your feet around until they find a good foundation that's going to allow you to inhale up through your centre here. And with this exhale, we'll twist right. Big inhale, feel it high. Exhale, twisting on round. Inhale, lifting us up. Exhale to twist. Big inhale to lift. This time, ground that back heel down. Exhale into your warrior two. And allow it to be movable. Don't be too stuck. Inhale, high. Exhale and soften. Inhale high. Exhale to soften. And as I said, don't be stiff in your joints. Don't be too stat static. Big inhale high. We're always keeping it dynamic. This time with your exhale, we'll bring that back foot forward again, leaning down left, freeing up that right side, back into your down dog. Tucking your chin, rolling out into your plank position here. Walking back and forth, back and forth. Soften your knees down, soften the hips. And as you exhale, pushing into the ground, sending your hips from one side to the other, back into your child's pose. Finding yourselves back on all fours here, 
Tuck the toes, big inhale, hips high. And we'll just unweight and find ourselves walking up to the top of our space here, hanging over our legs. You can take some time to rock a little back and forth here. Hips low, big inhale. Exhale, leaning down to your left side, allowing that right foot to come back here. And finding a good space here to inhale through our centre. Exhale to twist on round to the left here. Big inhale high. Exhale, go round that foot back, that back foot down into your warrior two. And just take a few breaths here. Big inhale, lifts us high. Exhale back into your warrior two. Big inhale. This time, bring that toe back round until you're in a nice wide squat position here. And we'll just come down into that squat. Big inhale. And exhale. Big inhale, high. And exhale, low. Big inhale, high. Exhale, back into that warrior two. And then twisting that back foot on through, allowing you to lean right and free up that left foot here. Back into your movable ding dog. And we'll take another wee stroll back up to the top of the mat here. Finding the way that suits you best. Nice low hips, big inhale high. And this time we'll lean on down to our right side, bringing that left foot back. And just allowing your feet to be movable. Supporting yourself enough so that you can come through your centre, big inhale high. And exhale to twist on round to that right side. Big inhale high. Grounding that back foot down with your exhale into your warrior two. Inhale lifts us high. Exhale back into your warrior two here. Another big inhale high, bringing that foot round. Exhaling into your big deep squat here. Only go as low as works for you, big inhale. And with this exhale, softening your knees down, bringing your body down into a little bit of a wide forward fold here. Just easing everything off, keeping it really dynamic. You can bend one knee, bend the other. You can rock a little bit here if you feel confident enough. If you want to stretch your arms further back, if you're looking for a little bit more. And in your own time, finding yourself with soft knees, coming down low, big inhale high. And with your exhale, we'll turn our feet towards the top of the mat again here, onto the tiptoes at the back. Leaning left, freeing up that right foot to come back and into your down dog. Tucking your chin here, rolling out into your plank. Rocking back and forth here. Soften the knees down, opening up here in the back. If this doesn't work for you, bring your chest a little bit lower to the ground here. And then we'll start to push back with these hands. Allowing the hips to rock side by side, coming into a nice wide knee child's pose here. You can rest your head on the mat or you can stack one hand on top of the other if that's more comfortable for you. Bringing yourself into a puppy pose here, keeping the hips high, 
sending your hands out nice and wide and just allowing the chest and the shoulders to come down towards the ground. You might want to ease in and out of this. This might not be comfortable for you at all. If that's the case, bring the hands directly under the shoulders and push the shoulders away with every exhale and with every inhale, just come back to a centered place. So whatever works for you today. And when you're ready, bring the knees together. Coming back to sit on your heels, big inhale, arms high. As you exhale, twisting around to one side. Every inhale, inviting any energy, opening you up. And every, every exhale, allowing you to twist a little bit deeper. With this next inhale, bring your arms nice and high. And exhale round to your other side. Inhale to open. And exhale to deepen on into that stretch a little bit more. And when you're ready, you can stay on your heels if you wish. You can be cross-legged, you can have your legs out in front. We'll just take a moment to breathe. So closing your eyes or bringing your gaze low. Take a nice big inhale, invite that energy in, and exhale to soften on down, shoulders away from ears, just melt on into your mat here a little bit more, big inhale through the nose, long exhale, relax, big inhale, let the arms join in here, Opening nice and high, you can take a back bend to your that's nice. Exhale to soften on down, bring the hands down to your tummy here. Take one more breath. And you're on time. When you're ready, open your eyes. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I want you to compare how you felt in the first yoga in this set to now. Um, try not to have a perfectionist mindset so don't think that you should be able to do this or you should be able to do that just think how have I come on this journey have I improved from the first one to this one if you have done all of them I can guarantee that you have improved <laughs> um, whether it feels very obvious right now or not so much um, but with every practice every penny in the jar counts so I hope that has you feeling nice and strong, nice and energised and also really soft and able to respond to your day a whole lot better. Okay, I shall see you next time.